Hey guys, how is everyone? Uh, today we are testing uh, the charging system on the Skidoo 1200. Uh, so on my recent trip, my battery light came on. I always carry a little booster pack, one of these in the back. Should always carry one if you don't have pull start for sure. Uh, anyways, the, the battery light came on, slides started running rough. Uh, wouldn't start is how I found out. I put it in reverse as you know if you have a 1200 you have to shut it off put it in reverse because must be a synchro or something in the chain case that that goes on these anyways uh that being said today we are gonna uh check the charging system i got this thing towed home and we're gonna check it out so uh so far it's stumping me uh so i got out the skidoo manual but uh it's producing 15 volts coming out of the voltage regulator which should be good so anyways we're just gonna start from the bottom and go to the top we're gonna start with the stator then go to the voltage regulator so uh first off let's start with the stator uh you're gonna need a good meter i always use fluke most of the manuals recommend fluke so that's what i would recommend using uh they're a real, they're expensive but they're uh, a good meter so uh let's start out here we'll get onto the sled uh what you're gonna need to do is uh unbolt the gas tank there's two 10 millimeter bolts in your steering tower this will swivel up here and your gas tank will slide back then you can get to your voltage regulator and your wiring because it's right underneath here also your gauge cluster will have to you pop your gauge cluster out and your whole box and everything will come up up there so you can get to those two bolts just to swivel that up uh and to run the sled you got to plug your gauge cluster back in and i have my air box and everything just hanging off there and it's uh i got the wiring attached for my key and stuff okay so let's uh let's get to testing these wires all right so to start off here uh it's really hard to see back in here but pull off your connector off your voltage regulator which is this one right here it's got three yellow wires running to it so we got to do a on resistance test on it first so uh, put it to put your meter to ohms, set it up there so you can read it, make sure it's working, put it on sound. So that's working. Uh, so our spec for it uh, between, we have to go between pins one and two, one and three, and two and three. I'm just looking at the manual over here, sorry. I got it on my computer. So uh, if I plug the, if I have it this way, uh, I'll show you. They call this one, two, and three. So basically, one, two, and one and three that you gotta test between. All right, so uh, we'll start here testing it now. So our reading we want is 0 0.1 to one ohm. So we'll test here. Let's see if I can get you guys to see this. I'll zoom in on that actually. I can you can see that there so uh, between this one here we'll start out there we want we got 0 0.2 so we want between 0 0.1 and 1 so there we go uh, there 0 0.2 that's good and then we want to go between this one here and this one 0 0.2 0 0.2 that's on all of them you can test them this way too 0 0.2 0 0.2 so that's good we just want above 0 0.1 so that means we're in spec there uh so that's good so far for our uh resistance test but now we got to go on to our uh, next test. So I'll uh, cue that up now. All right, guys. So our next test, if you test it all good there, uh, obviously, if you didn't test good, that means that your stator is pooched. So we test it good for the first test. Our next test is to test between all of these to, uh, to ground for resistance. And uh, doing that, 
you just take simply have this on resistance again I'll turn on my light so you can see it uh, but yeah you take you just want it to be like an open line because if if it's uh, short it that means that your uh, stator has ground it and uh, that you need to get a new one or get it fixed so anyways we'll start off uh, here on the left get a good connection there go to ground 0 0.3 ohms so there's a connection there that's not good uh, here 0 0.4 there 0 0.4 so there's a short somewhere it could be in this wiring or it could be in a stator most likely it's in the stator but I'm gonna check the wiring first so that determines that I have a bad stator so if you are an open line on each one of those each time so if you go like like this and touch yours to ground and it reads open line that's good that's what you want so your stator is still good we're gonna do this like mine test it good just to show you guys how to diagnose it so say we pass that test we'll move on to the next test and the next test is to start the sled obviously you're gonna have to have your battery charged if it's not charged put a booster pack on it so we'll start up the sled and let it idle uh, once it's idling then we have to test so you need to go to AC voltage on your uh, meter here Oops. and we got to test between the three wires again so we want to go between one and two and three and then we want to go between here and the other two again just to cover them all and at idle my manual right here just let me look it says uh, between any of the three between one and two one and three and two and three we sh you should be plus or minus 25 volts AC at idle so we're gonna test that now just to just to see all right guys so now for this test we go again with our connector between one and two one and three and two and three so uh, I'll zoom in here so you can see the meter and stuff so start up the sled these tests are all at idle once your engine is warm I've had this running a bit off camera and it's warm so uh, I'll zoom in here and uh, let's get started on testing this if your stator is still good Alright guys, so uh, that's how to test the stator in a Skidoo 1200. Uh, if you passed all those tests, you have to move on to a voltage regulator uh, and check that. Uh, but this is how to test a stator. I just want to do a simple video on a stator test because I think most of the time it's probably pretty rare that a voltage regulator would go. If a voltage regulator would go, you'd be getting really uh, mostly high voltage, I would assume. But uh, yeah, that's how to diagnose a stator. So if uh, your resistance tests are good uh, and then you move on to your short to ground tests, those are good if they're all reading zero, uh, no continuity. And then your voltage tests are good. That means that you have a good stator and you want 25 volts across one and two, two and three, and one and three. Uh, so this determines just because of the ground and that voltage output that I have a really low reading that I need a new stator. So this sled has about 22,000 K on it and not surprised that's what happens when you drive higher kilometer stuff. It's all uh, stuff that you can't predict but uh, it's all stuff I mean you can prevent bearings from going but it's pretty hard to prevent a stator from going. Anyways guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you uh, diagnose your stator. This is a 2012 uh, Skidoo, I imagine that it's the same from 2009 to about uh, 2015 I would imagine is the same, but uh, check for sure. 
As always guys, thanks for watching and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.